you watch these amazing COD Mobile players. Evan, Vig, Whoopi. You can't help it, but you want to be just like them. So you end up copying everything they do to the point of making the mistake of copying their HUD, thinking that it'll work for you. Now there might be a 1% chance that it works, but 99% of the time, trust me, it won't. What works for me is customizing my HUD based on my needs. You can base your HUD from other players, but there are a lot of things to consider. First is the size of your screen. From here, you can determine how many fingers you can fit on your screen, as well as how will you position them that won't get in the way of your view. Not only that, we also have to consider your biology. How big are your fingers? Your fingertips can help you determine the size of each and every button in your setup. Assume that we're building a four finger HUD. Now that you're aware of the things you need to consider, let's divide our screen into four corners. For our lower left corner, we'll use our left thumb to toggle everything in this area. Most of the time, I use my left thumb to control the movement joystick. To determine the right size of my joystick, what I do is touch the screen with my thumb just like how I would normally. Then I take the surface area that touches the screen and base the size of the joystick from there. On my basic settings, I have my joystick auto sprint on because that lets me activate score streaks while running if I need to. You also want to be able to access the scoreboard easily while still being able to glance at it mid-game. Moving over to the lower right corner, we'll be using a right thumb for this area. For me and most people, this finger is dedicated for aiming, while it's also used for toggling weapon switch, reload, tactical and lethal equipment, as well as operator skills. Center your thumb to its fixed position when you're aiming and make sure everything's easy to reach when you need it. Now, for the upper left corner, there will be a lot of options on how you can set it up. What worked for me is having the ADS to fire button and the hip fire button side by side. Having the ADS to fire button allows me to slide cancel for better crosshair alignment when sliding around corners. Not only that, it also allows me to reload cancel, which can save me in a sticky situation instead of waiting for the full reload animation to finish. Having the hip fire button right beside it allows me to hip fire when needed in close range situations. And it's also the button I use to fire when I'm pre-aiming. If you want to be able to pre-aim using the same index finger, you can have your ADS button instead of the hip fire button, or you can have all three of them on the same spot. But for now, I'll stick with having these two side by side. Lastly, let's get the upper right corner set up. We'll use our right index finger for this corner and we'll use it to toggle our movement buttons. We can move our jump and crouch button over here. Having the prone button is a personal preference, and while it's not a necessity, I like having the convenience of just having to one tap the prone button instead of holding down the crouch button to prone or drop shot. We'll also put the ADS button right beside our movement buttons so we can preem around corners and angles in the game. As for the minimap, I try to have it here on top at the lowest opacity possible so I can still see most of my surroundings. And that's your new HUD. Make sure you try out your HUD on training mode or pub matches, iron out any kinks that you may find, be it button sizes and positioning. Make sure you adjust where your finger naturally lands and place your buttons around it so you don't have to reach constantly. Most of you know that I play with a 5 finger HUD, but I want to show you how a personalized HUD can help you not only in the long term, but also as soon as you start using your customized setup that you created for you. Got him. Got him. Enemy in sight. Dog it down. Recon ready for deployment and contested. Enemy contact. Don't let him make a comeback. Let's get it. Got him. Sheesh. Only say your way, make your way to the ground. Da 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 da. 
That's my custom. Da -da 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 -da. Close it up. Da -da 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 -da. And now I top frag. Are you using a custom HUD or did you copy from someone else? Let me know down in the comments below. You can check out the description for more guides on HUD and clause setups. But have I told you about my favorite move-in called Mobo? Watch this video to learn all about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.